looking ahead here for Bitcoin. Bitcoin having a strong day yesterday, but now looking to pull back. Could we be pulling back down here towards 40,000? I'm going to share with you the key levels we can see here on the charts. And can Bitcoin be trying to mount a bigger attack later on at 46,000? Loads to break down here in the chart. You can see, of course, here, Bitcoin on Friday managing to break back above its EMA ribbon here on the four hourly chart, getting above it and then holding quite a nice upward trend. But like with any upward trend, now we're quite extended. And could we be pulling back down here in towards the 42,000 level, maybe even a bit lower uh, to get a little bit of a calling off here before a bigger attack to the upside? That's what I'm going to break down and a lot more in today's video. Smash all the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, check out the links in the description to our Telegram community where I share my DCA plans, my trading plans, and a lot more. I want to see a bunch of you guys in there in the Telegram community. So, four hourly chart, things are looking good. I want to show you this on the daily chart, however. On the daily chart, you can see that yesterday we reclaimed our daily EMA ribbon. This is really, really good. It was a very strong, powerful candle. We managed to recover our EMA ribbon very quickly here before all the colored lines managed to flip over downwards into a powerful downward trend. So this is a good sign here for Bitcoin. But there still is a bit of room for this to call off, right? We may see a little bit of a calling off. Now, I shared this data uh, on Twitter. Make sure you follow me while well, it's X now, isn't it? So make sure you follow me on X. And uh, there's a huge liquidation level at 39.5, okay? $1.2 billion in Bitcoin positions. And this has me just a little bit confused as to whether Bitcoin's going to want to try flush out those liquidations before mounting its real attack at 46,000. But the problem I see here is it's quite low down, right? 39.5 is kind of coming down to this level to grab that liquidity. Do I see another flush down? Maybe not. Maybe the market won't be able to go grab that liquidity, but it is sitting there where my cursor is at 39.5. My take on the market is that on the four hourly chart, we'll definitely see a little bit of a pullback. I did call this in our Telegram candle, uh, in our Telegram channel before this candle printed. I said, guys, watch out. This is very overextended here. Expect a pullback down into the 42.5, maybe even a little bit deeper at 42.2 level in the EMA ribbon. And uh, personally, that's where you want to be averaging in, right? When it comes into EMA ribbon, you want to buy on support and selling uh, at uh, the extended points away from EMA ribbon. So we can see also that it's no coincidence we're struggling around this level, right? Four four hourly candles here struggling around the 43.5k level. That's an important horizontal resistance dating back to January of this year. We struggled to break that level as well. And then ultimately, after that, we fell back down to 40,000 here. So it's going to be a tough level for us to break. But once we do break it, guys, good news lays up ahead, right? Because when you look at this chart, what do you notice? You notice that once we fell, Remember here, we fell here, okay? So we got rejected all the way up here at 49,000, and then we tumbled all the way down to the bottom of this candlestick at 41.4. So once we can clear this resistance, we should be able to fill this gap nice and quickly up towards this next horizontal, which is at 47.6, okay? So this could be a quite an explosive move here on Bitcoin. Maybe a quick touch back, collect a bit of support, and then maybe like a quite a quick kind of climb up here is what I'll be looking for here on the Bitcoin chart. Now, of course, it's important to check in on the dollar index as well, uh, to just to check in to see is risk rotating on or is it rotating off? And like I said, this is a bit of an interesting moment because the uh, Bitcoin's managed to get above its EMA ribbon, but at the same time, dollar index is still showing decent support, right? It's still above its EMA ribbon. Now, normally these are inversely correlated. You see dollar index move to the downside when Bitcoin's moving to the top side. So I just want to wait to see what does the trend set up here? Is the dollar index just kind of curling over and about to go here, in which case that supports my thesis that Bitcoin wants to move to the upside? Or is it going to do something like this, in which case I'm going to be bearish on Bitcoin and maybe we will go down and feel some of that liquidity at the 39.5. So those are the game plans I've got in my head, ready for either direction, like any good trader and investor is, right? Don't listen to these people that say, oh my God, you need to know where the price is going. No trader, no investor knows where the price is going. If so, I'd be richer than Elon Musk right now. The reality is you have to stack up the data, you weigh up the probabilities, and then you make a decision. That's what you need to do fundamentally. And anybody who tries to tell you otherwise, like, oh, I, I know exactly where the market's going. It's all capped. Delete them from your algorithm and keep things moving. The reality is we've got to make decisions and we've got to be we've got to make risk our friend. There is no such thing as a riskless trade, right? You've got to take trades with risk and you've got to stack the risk in your favor. So I'm keeping a close eye here 
on dollar index. Guys, it's important to remember we have a big macroeconomic week this week as well, and it kicks off in a little while with the jolts figure. So by the time I've uploaded this video, the jolts figure will be out. Markets expecting 8.75 million new jobs. Now, this could have an effect on the dollar index and the markets. If jobs are too strong, markets going to be a little bit fearful. They want this to come down. They need this to show at 8.75 or lower to show that the labor market is calling off. That's very, very important. We then head into the rest of the jobs week, which we know leads uh, into an important Friday non-farm payroll. But before then, on Wednesday, January the 31st, we get the FOMC press conference. We get the decisions on the interest rates and then the press conference. I will be covering that live with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. It's going to be a big one. The other thing worth looking at here is the Bitcoin dominance. Now, you guys know on the Bitcoin dominance, I've said that there's room here on Bitcoin dominance to go up to 60%. Remember, in the previous cycle, I've mapped this all out for you. Before the halving, you hit a peak of 73%. Now, you can make the argument why maybe 73% won't get hit again, right? The market's more mature. There are bigger altcoins now, a lot more going on. Okay, but you can make the argument of why it can't be a little bit better than it is right now. I mean, in this cycle, the highest we've seen is 55. At least maybe 60, 65 are the kind of levels... I would expect to peak out on this cycle before then moving into an altcoin season. So for me, don't be surprised to see here on the weekly chart, Bitcoin bounce strongly here over the next kind of couple of weeks, create a higher high on dominance and lead the charge. Remember, altcoins will move nicely when Bitcoin moves. Bitcoin has to set the trend, has to set the tempo, has to move up and break through tough resistance levels, and then altcoins will flurry behind it. And we're seeing that exact same thing, right? If you head on over to Coindesk here, you can see they've posted an article which you guys uh, can definitely read saying Sol, Avax, lead the crypto charge, right? A lot of the solid projects do lead uh, behind Bitcoin. When Bitcoin does well and breaks through key levels, you will see all coins start to follow between. Now, the all coin season, in my opinion, will happen afterwards, right? If you look at the previous sessions here, if you look at the previous cycle, you can see that the all coin season really came after the halving, a period after the halving, you then saw Bitcoin dominance take a real tank here to the downside. And that's something we'll want to watch out for uh, closer to the time. So there you have it, guys. That's what I'm watching here on Bitcoin. Interesting level here. Can we break through it here on the daily chart can we continue to show strength here above our ema ribbon and hold above it or does it want to touch before then going that's what i'm watching out for here in the market make sure you're in our telegram community guys where i will share my next trades and the big trades i'm taking right now already an amazing trade on stored which i shared with you also running a phantom trade as well which is running in profits nicely and my arbitrum trade is now open above 20 percent profits as well if you guys want to see how i trade how i do my ta how i do my risk management and a lot more jump into our telegram community jarscrypto.com forward slash tg thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one